everybody. It's Travis Weller. Thanks again for joining me for the Two Minute Clinic. There are lessons to learn from all great artists. And now a month into a new year of teaching, lessons, rehearsals, and with some performances on the horizon, two lessons from Michelangelo might serve us all very well. To be clear, we're talking about the Renaissance artist Michelangelo. No, not that Michelangelo. But to be fair, our band students generally know this one, or perhaps this one, because, of course, they share the common bond of liking pizza. Because a band kid, as long as there isn't a food allergy involved, will do anything for pizza. But getting back to this Michelangelo. Before he was on the scene and granted the commission from the officials at the Florence Cathedral, this project had been abandoned twice. The slab of marble itself was left over from a project that started in 1408. Two other artists abandoned the project, putting in very little work in 1464 and 1476. Before he completed this sculpture, he completed a smaller project entitled Battle of the Centaurs that foreshadowed what he was capable of as an artist. While others, including da Vinci, were consulted about the project, Michelangelo was his own advocate. He bet on himself, and he ultimately delivered. In this opportunity, he didn't see the failures of others. He saw the possibility. While taking over two years to complete his vision, he demonstrated patience. Confronting the, a massive size of marble that was over 17 feet long and weighing over five tons, he showed persistence. The second lesson comes to us from his other notable work, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Was it his first rodeo? It possibly could have been. He was, after all, a sculptor. But still, he had a growth mindset that there were things that he could learn to make himself better at his craft, being open to the idea that others might have advice, tips, and techniques that he could adopt. I know very little about painting, but from what I understand, Von Fresco is a challenging technique that's used on murals. We would love to romance the idea that it was just him and a ceiling canvas, but in reality he had help, and he wasn't too proud to ask for help. In balancing working on a very small area, while keeping the totality of the story he was telling, Michelangelo's perspective continued to sharpen. In learning new techniques and asking for help, he was able to remain productive. What can we learn from Michelangelo? I hope we can see possibility in our students. I hope there's patience as we work through our daily teaching, persistence to bring about the very best, perspective as we see things brought to fruition, and productivity that is supported and appreciated. The quote that I shared in episode one of season three bears mention here, as again, Michelangelo has been our focus today. Thank you for finding this and listening. In the challenges of your teaching each day, let the lessons of Michelangelo keep you on course to stack good days and band on top of each other until you have another whole year. This has been Travis Weller with the Two Minute Clinic. Until next time, life, love, music.